today's print tip video, it's gonna be a little bit of a unique one. We're gonna have a bit of calculations in here, but it's gonna let you know how you can get proper filament estimation for your print so that you don't run out of filament mid print. You see, when you print something using your slicer, you'll get a filament usage estimation, but that filament usage estimation is based on the length of the amount of filament that will be used. This means the actual weight of the material that's being used is going to be determined by the density of the material that you're using. This means it is crucial to make sure that you enter the correct density into your filament settings on your slicer. If your slicer says that the material that you're using is only 1.1 grams per cubic centimeter, but the material you're using is actually 1.3, then if, you, if your slicer says you're using 950 grams of material, you're gonna run out of material if using a one kilogram spool. All of this information is written on our wiki, wiki.polymaker.com. This is under the running out of filament section, but let me give you some of the calculations you can use if you wanna estimate the length of the material on your spool. Each material and manufacturer will have different densities. So make sure that you always know the density of the material you're using because entering it into the slicer is much easier than doing this calculation. But as an example, Polylite PLA is 1.19 grams per cubic centimeter. If you're using 1.75 millimeter diameter filament, one meter of filament would be 2.41 cubic centimeters in volume. One meter of 1.75 millimeter filament would then be equal to 2.41 times 1.19 the density, which would be equal to 2.8679 grams. A 1000 gram spool of polylite PLA should then be roughly 348.7 meters. You would then use that 2.41 cubic centimeters in volume for any 1.75 millimeter filament. You would just then multiply it by the density. You would then take the weight of the filament and divide it by that number that you get. The same would be true for 2.85 millimeter filament, just use 6.38 cubic centimeters as the volume per meter. So not to confuse you there with all those calculations, it's just letting you know what the slicer is doing because it's gonna be determining how much filament you're using in length, and then it'll tell you the weight based on the density of the material you're using. So make sure you always enter the correct density into your slicer.